Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without summons. The Empire's putting Do a I great deal of pressure on the White Run. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us... He's against us. He knows that. They all know that. Mm. Helgen, huh? Norfolk told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. But first, tell me. Why is a Red Guard want to fight for Skyrim? You mistake me. I'm not saying no, just wondering about your intentions. We're not looking for sellswords. The Stormcloaks need dedicated men and women who are devoted to the cause and willing to die for it. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpent Stone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. There's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? How long are you going to wait? Do you think I need to send Balgraf as well as that? If I wait.
tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Not at all. I wasn't sure you're... Now, if we're done being sentimental, it's time for you to take the oath. Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a hero of the people, a true son of Skyrim, a Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. <laughs>